five inches per minute. That's money right there. That, that's how you make money in this trade. We're gonna show you guys what this tool is capable of. Woo hoo hoo! Let's go! I absolutely love machining. So we got a big old piece of titanium, 604B titanium right here. And then over here, we have a big old piece of 316 stainless steel. So these are two high-end materials that basically we have to learn how to machine efficiently when machining components for a top level company so we can actually make money and support our families. So right there, that's a Harvey Four. It's an eight flute tool, crazy coating, KCSM 15A. So that coating right there, it actually allows the tool to run twice or three times as long. And that is from actual trials that we've done in this shop right here. I'm about getting my quotes, like going to customers and saying, hey, this part right here, other people are gonna take seven hours to do it. We're gonna actually do it in four hours. I'm gonna get that work, and then I'm gonna do it in three hours so I can actually make some money, so I can take in my family, put food on my tables, and be successful wherever you guys are. Be successful in your own country so we can keep manufacturing great. Now, here's the problem. When I look at this tool and I look online for a surface foot, I'm seeing like 150, 200 surface foot. So running an eight flute tool at 200 surface foot makes no sense. You're not gaining anything. I haven't seen anybody run this thing to a legit level. So let's do that today. <laughs> Let's start off with the titanium, okay? We're gonna start off first cut. We're gonna take, we're gonna basically come around. We're gonna go a 10% radial. Then we're gonna jack it up to 400 surface foot and we're gonna see how it sounds and how it runs. And then we're gonna come back and finish. That's the cool thing about the tool. You rough, 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 and you finish with the same tool or a similar tool without changing anything. All right, so what's cool is right now you can't even hear anything, and yet you can see that it's cutting, it's making a nice finish. That's, that's all those flutes right there. With eight flutes on it, you actually have a bigger core diameter, which keeps the rigidity in the tool. And now, this is titanium. Our axial is 1.75, so we're all the way down, we're 10% radial, and that cut is sounding absolutely beautiful. This is 250 surface foot. This is higher than what they're telling you online to run this tool. So we're already making you money. We're gonna actually take some more cuts and then we're gonna jack it up even faster. You know, a lot of people get like crazy with me and they're like, hey Titan, you're trying to break the machines. You're trying to like, you know, go fast, too fast for the machines. It's not good for the spindle. It's not good for this. You know what's not good? Losing your work. What's not good is not taking care of your customers. What's not good is like not making money. If you have an obsession to actually perfect your tool paths, to, to get your speeds and fees to a level where your tools are lasting, but you're running twice as fast, three times as fast, that means that you're providing for your customers. That means that you're making the parts efficiently so they don't have to go and outsource the jobs. And you can keep the jobs right here in America. Give me a shout out to Blazer and the Synergy 735. We cut ink and Monel, titanium, steel, everything with clear coin. When they say butter, that is literally butter. Like absolutely beautiful cut. Material came off, chips look absolutely amazing. Uh, we're at 250 surface foot. We're going to go up to 400 surface foot. We're going to go from a chip load of 0 0.003 up to 0 0.0043. So not only are we going to 400 surface foot, but we're actually taking our chip load up to 0 0.0043, which is a nice, consistent, aggressive cut. And then let's see how this thing sounds. <laughs> we can hear the machine working but it's not working too hard we're at 70 inches per minute nice deep cut 10% radial and it sounds amazing 
Now we're going to actually keep going around. We're going to take an entire inch off around the entire diameter. Now think about that. This is 400 surface foot. So 400 surface foot is more than twice what the maximum is that they actually call out online for this tool. That means that people who actually buy the tool that are looking at the speeds and feeds and looking at how to run the tool, we're showing you that the tool can run twice as fast. That means if you're running a lot of material and it takes you 30 minutes to rough all that material, it'll now take you 15 minutes to do it. That means more money in your pocket. That means gaining the quotes. That's the name of the game. If you guys run titanium, go to the programmer, go to the owner, show them this video and show them that tool and let them know that that thing lasts and they can make some money in their shop. Boom. When I actually look at it, the surface actually doesn't look that bad. It's a little grainy because of how fast we're running and because of all the chips that are popping off. So right now I'm actually just gonna raise the surface foot up to 500 surface foot, and then I'm gonna drop my chip load down to 2000s, and I'm just gonna come in to make a nice finish pass. I'm not changing the tool, I'm gonna use the same tool. Let's see what type of finish we'll get. Finishing titanium at 40 inches per minute. Ooh, look at this. Here, come on, come on inside. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that surface finish is, but man, that's beautiful. Love it. So right there, I was at 40 inches a minute. If I dropped it down to 30 inches a minute, it would even be nicer. But, but this right here, this is a really nice finish right here. This is probably like between a 16 and a 32. And what's cool is you guys literally witnessed all that machining and look at all the chips right there. And now we're gonna go to the 316 stainless over here. We're gonna use the same tool. We're not changing it out. We're gonna use the same tool. Come over here and start roughing the 316 stainless, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so now we're running the 316 stainless steel. When we started with the titanium, we we're at 250 surface foot. We're starting on the first pass right here coming around, and we're actually at 350 surface foot, so we've jacked it up, and then the chip load is 0 .0035. That's the same tool that I ran the titanium in. So we're gonna finish cutting this, and then we're gonna jack it up even faster. One of the cool things is when you look at the chips, you can see them popping off nice and small. That's because it has chip splitters. Another thing is the tool actually has a coolant through hole, so you can actually use coolant through. You can ramp, you can do all that. I'm not doing coolant through right now because we're filming and I don't want it to mist all up. I want to be able to see the cut. At the beginning, you could hear it singing, but it was an imperfect surface because it actually was water jet. It had lines going all the way through, so you kept having these interrupted cuts in stainless steel. It just wasn't giving you a good sound. But now we're in the cut and it's sounding absolutely great. Now think about it, like I'm going slow, okay? But I'm full depth, I'm 75 thousandths in, and I'm going 50 inches per minute. That is already 60, 70% above where they actually tell you to run this tool in this material. And guess what? We're about to go way faster. That's the next pass. We're going from 350 surface foot up to 550 surface foot. Our chip load is 0 0.0035. We're gonna actually jack it up to twice as much. So from 3.5, we're going to seven. That's called making money right there. That's called making money. That's called roughing. Boom, let's see if it works. <laughs> Look at this, look at this. 
155 inches per minute. 155 inches per minute. Woo, that's cooking. Always, when, when we run fast, I'm not always saying run that. I'm just showing you, you're here. Let's show you here, it didn't break. What if you increase by 20, 30, 40%, 100%? That's money right there. That, that's how you make money in this trade. Even if you break a tool, it might make you more money to actually sacrifice a tool once in a while, depending on how long it runs. That's cooking. You're getting after it. Yeah, we're getting after it right there. Woo hoo hoo! Let's go! exciting to take tools and push them where nobody's ever pushed them before. It's exciting to test the limits and it's exciting to actually teach you guys out there and show you guys what's possible. If you don't have passion and guts to push it, you're not going to make money in this trade. Now we're going to take the same tool, we're going to take a finish pass, we're going to jack it up to 600 surface foot, I'm going to go down to 2000s on the chip load. Basically increasing RPM, slowing it down, and let's go do a finish pass and see how it comes out. So right there, finishing 316 stainless, nice and deep, 50 inches per minute. Boom, Synergy 735, love it. Nice, beautiful surface finish right there. Now, when I look at this surface finish, this is still a very nice surface finish at 50 inches per minute. But I would look at that surface foot, I might bring it down a little bit to, to create a little bit less vibration and just slow it and just baby it. You guys have heard me, like I'm all about murdering material and getting after it, but then you come back and you slow down and you kiss the baby right into spec. You make that surface finish absolutely perfect. So right here, we have a beautiful surface finish. It is nice and consistent. The tool looks absolutely phenomenal and it can keep cutting and cutting and cutting. And now, depending on your surface finish, you guys can just make some adjustments and just slow it down a little bit or add a little bit of feed to get rid of that vibration and make perfect parts. So right there you have 6AL, 4B titanium, 316 stainless steel. Based on the numbers, we're going to show you right here what the normal numbers would be for this part and what we ran it at. Normal numbers, what we ran it at. Go ahead and duplicate that process, make some money in your own shop. That is the Harvey 4, my friends, and that is a badass tool. Boom.